Hi guys and welcome to PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Today we will check out the top 10 best places to land in Miramar. This is the second map in Battlegrounds and it will soon be available on the main servers. We are all fairly new to this map and this kind of information will definitely help you get you on your way to your next chicken dinner. The eggs that you will see today are the absolute best places to find high level gear, an enormous amount of weapons and a boatload of meds. To give you an example, in one of the better places you will find the best helmet in Battlegrounds, the best vest and the biggest backpack, together with every assault rifle that you will ever need. These places are worth it. I will show you where each area can be found on the map. Then I will show you the actual gameplay of me fighting in these areas, together with the great loot that you may find over here. Let's start with number 10. This is the best kept secret on the entire map. Impala is located in the east of the map, but that's not where we're going. We're going to a place called Minas de Plata. You can search the map all day, but you just won't find it, simply because the name does not appear on that map. Could this have been removed by accident, or did they do that on purpose? You tell me. So unless I tell you where it is, you're going to have a very hard time trying to find it. Minas de Plata is a very lucrative area located directly to the northeast of Impala. These seven highly lucrative buildings are the place to be for an adventurer. These buildings are gold mines filled with great equipment. There's a lot of elevation with a bunch of walkways, an old mining railroad and a bunch of crates that allow you to climb up and take some nice shortcuts. A shortcut that led me directly to a level 3 vest. These shortcuts give Minas de Plata something extra, an extra dimension which makes it very interesting to loot this place but also to fight. You can easily surprise an enemy because you will have so many angles that he won't be able to cover all of them. Since this place is still very unknown to the larger Battlegrounds community, it is likely that you will be the only one landing here in the beginning, so that will help you with getting a lot of great gear without having to worry about too many enemies. You will walk out of here with an advantage and you will be ready to take on everybody. Spot number 9 goes to Minas Generales, or simply General Mines. It is located in the eastern part of the map but very close to the center, just north of La Bendita. It doesn't look like there's much to be found over here, but make no mistake, this is a great place to loot, with a lot of big buildings. You will find plenty of cover in this area, and some elevation if you land in the hills, so use that to your advantage. This is a great place to land if you don't want the start of your game to be very hectic. Just be careful! Apparently, there is a pit over here that swallows you alive, or in terms of a video game, you will get stuck and there's no way to get out. El Pozo is an even better place to start your journey, that is why it's number 8. It's located in the southwest. There are a few noticeable landmarks over here. There's even a destruction derby stadium where you can find a lot of great loot. And there's a motorcycle wall of that as well. This place was built by motorheads. This city lives and breathes on entertaining the crowd with motorcycle madness. On top of that, there's also a boxing ring. This place is very interesting because it holds a lot of equipment and high level gear. But you will need to climb up to certain areas so that you can get access to the good stuff. You will not have a hard time finding high level gear in El Pozo. I was able to find the best vest, the best helmet and a lot of med kits together with an arsenal of great weapons. You will find a few buildings over here with a restaurant on the first floor that you can use as cover to get some great angles on your enemies. There aren't any skyscrapers or anything like that over here, so you won't find much elevation. Most of the fighting will happen on the ground level within the industrial and entertainment districts. Spot number 7 of Miramar's best landing spots goes to Valle del Mar, a harbor located in the southwest, right next to the main bridge that connects the island in the south. The church looks very tempting because it's a big building, but actually it isn't. Basically it simply isn't worth it. The loot inside the church isn't very good and you will be very disappointed when you walk out of there. The best place to land is over here, where you find these 9 buildings. This is the hotspot, the city center, the holy grail of Valle de Mar. This is where you will find the best gear, and these buildings can provide you with a lot of cover and elevation, making the firefights a lot more interesting. Loot these 9 places and your squad is ready to take on everybody. Number 6 on Miramar's best starting places is Chumacera. It is located directly to the west of Los Leones. This place was once the center of Miramar's textile industry and because of this you will find a lot of abandoned factories overlooking the main road. These are large buildings and you know what that means. There are also many residential and commercial buildings that you can use when you get closer to the road itself. The best place to land is in the south of this city. This is where you will find all those large buildings and they are located in an elevated area, giving you the high ground as well. 
If you want even more, then make good use of the pipes. They can give you the best bird's eye view of this area. And this is the perfect place to scout for enemies. We are now halfway through our list. Up next are the absolute best starting areas. The number 5 spot goes to Los Leones, the capital of Miramar. Snipers can have long range firefights across the rooftops of tall buildings. Mid range firefights can erupt on the streets and close quarter battles can happen inside the shopping areas and commercial buildings. A lot of these buildings are still under construction so you can take advantage of unexpected angles. Certain construction sites will allow you to reach high places, so make the most of these vantage points to help you secure the area. Another building will give you a bird's eye view of the main road that leads to this place. In another part of town you will find some very beautiful buildings and you can even find a lot of loot lying around on the outside of this yellow building. I believe that this is the town hall. On the inside you will find high level stuff lying around all over the place. There are so many buildings to discover in Los Leones, but I would definitely recommend to start over here or in the bigger building that I mentioned earlier if you prefer the high ground. Number 4. The Prison. This is the new spawn location, so we're not confined to an island anymore. We are now confined to a prison and the immediate surroundings. A bit ironic, isn't it? It is located in the southwestern corner of the map, on the big island to the south of Valle del Mar. This is a difficult place to reach because it all depends on where the airplane goes. But if the airplane is close enough, then definitely make your way over here. There are so many weapons over here, I didn't know which one to choose. Most of these weapons are lying around on the inside of the main cell block. This place is massive, with multiple floors, dozens of cells and a lot of gear all up for grabs. There isn't much elevation in this area, so it's also a shame that there's no way to get inside the guard towers. One downside though, it is located in the far southwestern corner of the map, so transportation in or out can be an issue. On top of that, if you decide to use one of the bridges, then be prepared for an ambush, because we all know where the bridge campers like to hang out. It's not surprising that Campo Militar comes in at number 3 on our list. This place is very similar to the military base in the Rangel, so you know that you will find a lot of high level gear, a lot of powerful weapons and some nice sniper rifles. Campo Militar is located in the northeastern corner of the map, so it all depends on the airplane again. If it gets close, then expect to see a lot of people jumping out over here. Having said that, in my experience, there are a lot less people jumping out over Campo Militar than in the military base in the Rangel. Nevertheless, the equipment is still there. All you have to do is pick it up. Picado is one of the best places to land in Miramar. It's all about location, location, location. This is the very center of the map, smack in the middle. They say that all roads lead to Rome, then Picado must be like Rome in a video game, because there are about 5 roads that lead to this area. Landing here also means that you will be very close to the first circle. You could go to the casino and fight right here in the middle between the slots or you can go upstairs if you prefer to play craps. The rooftop is also a great place, with interesting angles and a great overview of this area. But watch out, because you will not have the high ground. For that you will have to go to the two casino hotels. Behind these two hotels you will find an exact copy of the boxing arena from El Pozo. This is by far the best place to go in Picado. This building contains the highest amount of loot. And finally, the ultimate place. The building of buildings. The wet dream of every Battlegrounds player. The absolute best place to land in Miramar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hacienda del Patron. I have never, and I mean never, found so many guns lying around in one particular place during my entire time that I played PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. This place is madness. Scar L, M16A4, M416, AKM, SKS, Car 98 k and not just one, but three of them. I didn't know which one to pick. This is by far the most amazing place on this new desert map. Extreme gear, not just lots of gear, no no, all the gear you can possibly dream of. Just pick your preferred assault rifle and then spend the next minute trying to decide which one of the car 98 case you're going to use today. I even found all the attachments, more than I could physically attach to the gun itself, and an 8x scope to finish it off. I could have easily collected more than 500 bullets of 5.56 or from 7.62, no issue at all. Just come and take as much as you need. You could compare this with the school, but the school is a kid's playground compared to this. This is the school on steroids, not only when you look at the great gear but also at all the fights that take place over here. When they organize a new battlegrounds tournament then I hope that they will just show this place for the first minute. It will be a massacre. Respect to the guy that walks away from this place. This place is mental, not only for the fights but also for the gear. Definitely check it out. So guys, these were the 10 absolute best places to land in Miramar. 
Use all the information that you saw in this video on your way to your next chicken dinner. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video and if you liked it, well, then you know what to do. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.